looks to be, you know, some young people being racist at Sephora. Sephora now responds. I want to remind you of the video. Here it is. Like, this lady has no shame. Like, literally. Let alone how incredibly effective this is. This is so wild. It's not a face. I'm so sorry. This is so shameful. This is so shameful. Like, we don't. I'm sorry. Yep. I'm putting a full mask. Okay. A viral video showing a group of. Uh, what seems to be teen teenage girls at Sephora applying darker shades of makeup to do uh, their version of blackface has left many online disgusted, has led to Sephora now issuing a statement of the incident. The video shows three teenage girls walking around the store, painting their faces with darker makeup shades. One white teen with dark brown makeup on her face is seen standing next to a Sephora vendor who is criticizing someone who appears to be a parent or a chaperone of the group. Viewers can hear that vendor saying incredibly offensive, the teen's makeup application is. The original video was posted on TikTok over the weekend, reshared, reposted several times, drawing millions of views. Although it can't be heard in the video, users who first posted the video said the girls were making animal noises while they put on the makeup. Representatives for the company sent the Atlanta Black Star statement confirming that the incident took place at Sephora location, at a Sephora location inside of Prudential Center in Boston, Massachusetts. The statement reads, quote, Sephora's top priority is to create a welcoming and inclusive shopping experience for all. We are extremely disappointed by the behavior of these shoppers at our Prudential Center location. And as such, they were asked to leave our premises. Under no circumstances is this type of behavior tolerated at Sephora. Many people online shared their frustrations with the teen's actions. Some suggested they should be banned from Sephora. Disgusting, one TikTok user commented. I hope Sephora identifies this family and bans them from their stores. Letting preteens and teenagers roam around makeup stores like Sephora and Ultra unsupervised or unchecked is an issue several store workers from across the country have posted about online over the years. Employees, excuse me, employees have shared their experiences dealing with rowdy groups of preteen girls who run them up in these stores. On TikTok, videos posted with the hashtags, hashtag Alta Kids, excuse me, and Sephora Kids amass millions of views. Uh, now, th- this is the, the thing. We don't have any, any evidence that Sephora said you're banned from the store, which, by the way, Sephora can do, no problem. They're a private company. Uh, we have no actual um, information as to how they will deal with this in the future. Uh, because remember, um, this happened. Sephora didn't really respond to the viral video. Uh, Atlanta Blackstar gets involved and they send a statement to Atlanta Blackstar, right? Well, oh, oh goodness, black people are asking questions now. We, we, we got to say something now. Uh, the reality is, this should be very specific uh, in their uh, code of conduct for managers and employees to, to be able to say, hey, if you come in here like that, you're going to, you, immediately you are empowered to tell them to leave. And I say this to Sephora in all due respect, it only hurts you by allowing people like this to shop inside of your establishment. If you don't give clear and concise information to empower your employees and your managers to be able to say to people like this, if you come in with that, you have to turn around, you have to leave, and you will be banned. Very similar to the rule of no shoes or no shirt or having a shirt that reveals too much, whatever the other rules are. The managers are empowered to say, leave. This needs to be a very similar circumstance that walking in the door, your staff, they are empowered to tell someone demonstrating this level of racism, get out. Because once it gets caught on video again, and your employees are not empowered to tell that individual, get the hell up out of here, and you're banned for life. You know how much money you're going to lose? You're already losing a little bit now.
you're gonna lose a lot more in the future. So take my advice, do the right thing. Uh, go ahead and get that email out to your staff. All right, sharing thoughts here. Yeah, just an email, right, Doc? Yeah. There's not gonna be a, a company wide retreat where they have to close down the stores for an afternoon and lose money to do the right thing, the human thing, and yep. what the prices are. I mean, you know, I've got a 12 year old, and this whole skincare regimen thing that these kids are doing is off the charts, but this is so damn easy. Yeah. What are we really talking about here? You don't, you're probably billion dollar company. You don't know how to handle this? Wow. Yeah. Wow. I bet the employees do. Just give, yeah. just empower yeah. them. That's right. You know, they don't need to fear they're going to lose their job like the mm-hmm. guy at Starbucks who stopped the robbery. Yeah. <laughs> All right.